Hello everyone, it's Robin the Delta Crafter and I want to thank you for joining me for another video on my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to assemble the 3D Vignette Hot Air Balloon which is a brand new die set from Spellbinders. Let's go ahead and take a look at this die set. Now this die set has quite a few pieces to the set. Um, and when you, at first glance, it might seem overwhelming. But I'm here to help you learn how to assemble this, uh, this set because it really does turn out to be a beautiful um, freestanding vignette that you could give as a card or you could also have um, on display in any room that you choose. So you see the die set there. I'm also going to be using several different pieces of cardstock. So I've got a piece of glitter cardstock there, a piece of craft cardstock, which I've gone ahead and stamped with a wood grain stamp, and a couple of other coordinating colors that we're going to make a beautiful balloon. Let's go ahead and get started. Now I have to be honest with you and in full transparency, I did not use all of the pieces that are in the die set. And I think there are probably are a couple of pieces that I should have used that I didn't use. But I was able to make it work and get it to stand up. So I'm very pleased with my outcome. So what we're going to start with is a couple of pieces that you'll need to cut multiple times. So we've got our hot air balloon outline piece. We've got a couple of side pieces as well as the um, front kind of rectangular pieces as well. So that side piece has a couple of, um, it's, it's actually two pieces. So I wanted to make sure I tape those together because I don't want that inner part that cuts little slits to be sliding around. So all the dies are secured in place with the easy C tape. And now we're gonna, I'm gonna tell you how many times you need to cut each piece. The long tabbed rectangular piece, we need to cut five times. We also need to cut the base of the hot air balloon five times. And that smaller piece, piece that's gonna have slits in it, we only need two of those. I'm also gonna go ahead and cut my basket and a couple of other pieces that I need as well. And we're gonna need multiples of these as well. Remember, this is a 3D vignette, so this is going to be a, um, item that can stand up on its own so you'll need multiples of these in order to have given enough strength to stand up and we need five of each of those five of the basket and five of the wires that lead from the hot air balloon to the basket or the ropes rather so there you can see i have everything cut out and now i'm going to go like assembly line and start assembling all of the pieces and gluing them together the, they did, did a really good job with these um, dies and making sure that there were um, indentions or raised areas on each of the dies that will show you exactly where the pieces need to align to match up. So you're going to take your hot air balloon base and you're going to glue the, the ropes to those. So you have five hot air balloon bases, five of the little rope pieces, and five of the baskets. So you can see there I've done, I've glued everything together on all five of the hot air balloons. Now I'm going to glue on the baskets. So in order to glue the baskets, you need to turn your um, hot air balloon assembly over and put some glue on the little bitty uh, round parts at the bottom of your ropes. It doesn't look like there's much uh, going on there, but it, it will be enough to secure your uh basket to your larger assembly of the hot air balloon and ropes. So line that up and press that down. I'm using an acrylic block to add some weight to all of my pieces as I glue them, glue them together. And that worked really, really well for me. So there's an inside piece to that hot air balloon to the base of that hot air balloon. And that's what you're going to use in order to add your colored stripes to your hot air balloon. I was going for um, kind of a World's Fair kind of Mary Poppins or Chitty Chitty Bang Bang type of coloration for my hot air balloon. So those are the colors that I went with. So I've cut out my um, hot air balloon colored stripe pieces, both out of that aqua cardstock as well as pink. And now I'm cutting my ropes 
out of uh, a glitter cardstock. This is kind of a muted gold. It's not um, a brassy gold. It's more of a muted gold. And those are going to be the ropes that are going to um, be on the outside and dress up my balloon. So once you use those two pieces of the hot air balloon together, you're going to get kind of like an outline um, to your whole hot air balloon assembly. So you can choose whatever color you want that to be in. I chose pink. And then I'm going, so I'm going to glue that down to one of the five hot air balloon bases that I created earlier. And then I'm just going to go down and, and um, inlay the rest of the pieces to create my alternating colors of my for my hot air balloon. These pieces were, you know, just meshed in really nicely and that created a, um, and the, the hot air balloon and it was very, very easy to assemble and put together. So I'm just pressing that in place and making sure everything is down and secure. Now this is really for me where the hot air balloon really started to just come to life and take shape. Adding those glitter ropes um, to the hot air balloon, and there's three different pieces, so there'll be lots of glitter um, or lots of whatever color you choose to make your ropes out of. It will be well represented. So I've put some of my um, glue, which by the way, I'm using Barely Arts glue. Um, I've glued, put some glue along all of those little fine lines of the ropes, and that nicely secures all of the ropes to my um, to my colored hot air balloon here. I even cut out a lower part for um, the lower ropes for and out of that glitter. By the way, the white cardstock that I use is Nina Classic Crest Solar White in 80 pound weight. I felt like that was strong enough to give me uh, the strength I needed to help my um, hot air balloon assembly stand up. I decided to cut my basket out of some wood grain to give it kind of that wood um, look like you might see in the old um, in, in a hot air balloon. The, most baskets are like a woven wood um, structure. Um, so I decided to cut mine out of that wood grain um, wood grain paper. So we're moving on to the next part of the assembly. So remember that we cut out five of those tabbed rectangles. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to glue one of my hot air balloon assemblies to one of the tabbed um, rectangle bases. And what I figured out as I was working through this is that I really want all of my, my, my um, hot air balloon pieces to be in alignment because I'm going to, in order to make this, um, look cohesive, you really need everything to be in, a, in, in alignment as best as you can. Because there's also going to be a um, piece that's going to run through the top of them. So you really want them to be aligned. So what I did was I laid each rectangular piece on top of each other. And then I laid the hot air balloon assembly on top of that. So then I could glue everything down and they can be in relatively the same place. This really, really helped me be able to pull this, uh, pull this assembly together and get the look um, that I think I, you, this set is, a, is supposed to achieve. I think if you didn't do it this way, your assemblies might get off um, a little bit and then it won't, it just won't look right. So now that we've gotten all five pieces of our hot air balloons attached to the tab rectangle, now we're going to use that smaller rectangular piece that has the little slits in it. And I have to tell you, it took me a little bit to kind of figure out how I was going to get these um, the little notches to go through the paper because even though it's 80 pound weight paper, it's still paper. So if I push too hard, it would bend. If I push, sometimes if I push too hard, it would tear. So I had to be careful and kind of figure out how I was going to get this to, um, these slits to go, the tabs to go into the slit. And what I ended up doing was laying the tabbed piece, I'm sorry, the, the piece with the slits on top and kind of sliding it across the bottom uh, tab rectangle and which would allow the the um, tab to go into the slit the other thing that i figured out was that i needed to work from the back 
backslits forward. So you just saw the little um, halo around that three tabbed, um, three, three slit rectangular there. I don't know if this is how this is supposed to be assembled, but this is what worked for me, how I figured out to do it and what worked for me. So those tabs that are on our tabbed rectangle, I folded that tab back and then I put some glue on the tab and now I'm going to glue that tab to the front, I'm sorry, to the, um, to the tab with the slit because the tab with the slits has little perforations on the end. So that told me that that is supposed to be folded back. So I folded that back and then folded those tabs back, folded the tab on the rectangular tab piece, put some glue on them, and then I glued the tabs together. I hope that makes sense. You will see it. We'll see it again in just a few minutes. Um, so, and I put my reverse tweezers on that to hold it down and be uh, glue that together. So here we are seeing the assembly again. So you can see the tab on the tabbed rectangle and there's a tab on the slit. I'm folding both of those back so that when I put some uh, um, adhesive, some liquid adhesive onto one of those tabs, they I can push them together and they will glue together. What I'm essentially doing is creating a little base um, th that's a box shape. So I'm putting, um, again, that liquid adhesive, again, this is barely arts glue, onto one of the tabs. And I'm going to press the two tabs together. And you can see, you can begin to see there where my box is going to come, start taking shape. Man, reverse tweezers are your friend with assembling um, this this uh, hot air balloon. So I'm going to let that sit there for a little bit and um, make sure my glue is adhered together. Then I'm going to go on and move, uh, adhere my front panel with all my coloring and my ropes and everything to the, the total assembly that I have going on. Can you see there that the, the box at the bottom is starting to take shape? And we're starting to get our formation here. So this is the little rectangular piece the little uh, p that I mentioned earlier that is going to run through the slits at the top of the hot air balloons. That's what's going to kind of connect and hold all the pieces at the top together and keep them in for and, um, and keep them in formation. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did to that back, the back um, hot air balloon assembly. I'm going to do the same thing to the front. So I'm going to press that down, make it kind of flat, press those tabs on the side in, put some glue on them, and then uh, I made a modification here um, to the assembly. So I put some glue on the tabs, but instead of trying to glue tab to tab, I just went ahead and cut those tabs off. You'll see me here. Just going to cut those tabs off real quick with my um, Cutter B Precision Scissors. And then I'm just going to glue the whole, the, re the rectangle to the side slit tabs. I wish I really knew all the names <laughs> of these pieces, um, but we're going to make it work. So again, using my reverse tweezers to hold that in place to make sure it secures well. Because even though it's a small piece of paper and adhesive that is, um, you know, coming together right there, it's sturdy and it will hold everything together. Second pair of reverse tweezers just to hold that other side in place and see there I had to kind of correct this the um, the shape and make sure everything glued on straight so that I don't have like a cattywampus looking final uh, assembly of this hot air balloon so that top little the long rectangular piece also has tabs and um, so I'm gonna glue the one of the tabs to the front colorful 
uh, hot air balloon assembly. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the back. I want to make sure I get it in the right spot. I want it to be right in alignment with the little slit where it should have gone through or would have gone through if it was not the front. Make sure that's all lined up. And then I'm going to do, I did the same thing to the back. So now you can see that long rectangle that slides through the top holds all the pieces together and my uh, hot air balloon is standing on its own. You guys, this thing was so, so stinking cute when it came together. Off camera, I went ahead and cut some, um, some of the cloud dyes that are also a part of the set. I'm going to ink them up a little bit with some salvage patina. Just... <clears throat> Excuse me, just to give them a little bit of coloring. And I'll cut four, four of those cloud assemblies. So I've used my uh, Berry Arts glue and I'm going to figure out where exactly I want my clouds to be. I'm going to glue some clouds to the front panel. And then I'm going to glue some clouds to the second panel. So you'll see what, what it looks like in a minute because those clouds that I glued to the second panel... I'm actually going to raise up a little bit so it gives a little bit of um, a background effect to the basket to make it really look like the, the, um, the hot air balloon is up in the clouds. So this is where I'm putting the clouds on the second assembly, um, hot air balloon assembly and kind of raising them up a little bit. Again, reverse tweezers to the rescue. Now you can kind of see how I have those clouds coming up behind the basket. I really, really think that just took the, um, took the card up another notch. You may have been wondering, why did I leave that blank space at the bottom of the cloud on the right? Well, I knew that I was going to be placing my um, sentiment right there. This is a keep smiling sentiment. It is also a part of the, the, the die set. And I um, cut that out of some white cardstock and cut a piece of that glitter cardstock to kind of go behind it. So it's glitter lettering that you see. So I put some glue on the back of that keep smiling sentiment. And I'm going to attach that to the whole hot air balloon assembly. Again, you reverse tweezers to the rescue. And with that, this card or 3D vignette is complete. Thank you so much for joining me for another video on my YouTube channel. If you have enjoyed watching this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. You can always find me at the Delta Crafter on Facebook and Instagram, as well as on my, my blog at thedeltacrafter.com. Thank you guys again for joining me. I have one more bonus for you. I decided to go ahead and make a card using the uh, remaining parts that I had from my colored hot air balloon pieces. So you'll see that in just a moment. Until next time, everyone, enjoy!